Hello. In this video, we will look at some important teachings taken from the semen retention manuscript. If you are starting semen retention or wish to continue with retaining on a long-term basis, then this book will detail the entire process, the benefits, common pitfalls, and strategies to overcome relapses. Some of these teachings will be very helpful to know if you are starting retention, and I will detail them in this presentation. If you wish to gain a deeper understanding with more detail, I recommend you get the book available in paperback or ebook format on Amazon. The link is in the description. Let's begin. Chapter 1 The Death of Your Old World It is often said that on semen retention you will change. Your thoughts, your character, your morals, your physiology. The effect of long term retention is nothing short of transformative. This means, however, that the you many people befriended before embarking on this journey is not the same you as now, a long term retainer. Your change will upset some people, especially those dealing with their own personal issues or those who held some form of status over you. Semen retention will close many doors in your life. People that you once got on well with will become antagonists on your journey. Numerous relationships that hinged on power will shift and become strained. Situations that you were previously experiencing will become no longer available to you. At times, it will feel like the world is trying to step on your development and perhaps even stamp out your existence. You are becoming a more powerful energy node, much like an electrical node, as a source of power for many others. The previously established nodes of power will feel threatened by your development. This is inevitable. The level of kickback you receive will be in direct proportion to your level of change and development. The only thing you won't be seen as on this journey is invisible. Not only do you let go of a lot of people on semen retention, a lot of people will choose to let go of you. It has been my experience that attention from potential suitors increased and competitive behaviour among same-sex acquaintances also increased. Semen retention is the process of accumulating your life energy and as it builds it has an effect on others. It is also worth noting that as you change, not only will you close the doors of many competitors, you will open the doors to relationships you didn't have access to when draining yourself daily. In this sense, it is best to understand that the rearrangement of your friends and enemies is a process that is ultimately putting you in the right direction. Birds of a feather flock together. Your more sexually drained counterparts may be the first to let you go when they see your transformation into a highly energized, vital being. Trust this process, it is putting you on the path to a better future. Chapter 2 The Human Body we must recognize that the human body is a masterpiece, a work of art. It is an instrument capable of transporting ideas from the mental realm into the physical realm. Within this masterpiece of work and from the very source of the mind, nervous system, blood and organs, we carry the prized ingredient capable of recreating our very own being, the semen. Even at our current level of evolution, humans are unable to recreate a fully-fledged human being without this invaluable ingredient. The sperm substance is of a technology, for lack of a better word, far exceeding our own human grasp on creation. It is the epitome of the universe containing the properties of creation within itself. The semen is absolutely sacred and indispensable to our very existence. It is the vessel that brought us to the physical plane. It is our very essence embodied in physical form. A man's semen is certainly not a substance to be disregarded and expended for momentary pleasure. Every omission is a sacrifice of our own substance for the sake of creating a new being. This new being is the so-called compensation we receive for offering up a piece of our own life force. The laws of nature are immutable. Breaking these laws will inevitably come at a cost to our body, to our vitality, to our life. 
Chapter 3 The Art of Life There is a very philosophical aspect to semen retention, and it is to do with gaining control of ourself. We can control our desires, or our desires can control us. Most men allow themselves to be led astray by desire. A man living in pursuit of desire is living a purely self-serving purpose, and thus is not being productive with his allotment of energy. If we are not of value to this universe that has brought us here, what need would this universe have for us? We must aim to be productive. The universe works on the laws of cause and effect. Those that work in self-interest inevitably bring about their own demise, whereas those that act for the good of others ultimately find the universe rewarding their efforts with a good life. Refraining from sexual excitement is hard, but it leads to freedom, happiness, and all things of a good nature. Learning to control desires is the hardest lesson a man will undertake, and nine out of ten will fail. It is not easy, but this is what we must strive for. Semen retention is the perfect gauge of how much control you have over yourself. Once you lock this door, you are forced to come face to face with the pain of your own existence and your own demonic entities that inhabit your soul. This is where your battle begins, learning to acclimatize to these dark energies. Do not avoid a hard life. A hard life can be a good life. Be careful of associating an easy life with a good life. A good life is oftentimes hard. An easy life is oftentimes unfulfilling. Take the hard path. It is there that you will seek fulfillment. You must learn to overcome hard things. Experience life's range of emotions. Go through bouts of sadness and hardship. With semen retention, you are opening the door to your traumatic experiences in order to face your fears, your failures, your demons, and face them head on. This is the cure. Retention will give you insights into how to deal with pain. It will show you how to live with pain and become stronger. It is not that you should avoid pain. It is that you should become strong enough to be able to endure it. Chapter 4 Confidence Semen retention enhances confidence in the individual. This is often reported as a benefit of retaining and should give one the motivation to continue retaining long term. Semen retention concentrates your energy and this strengthens your will. A person with a strong will develops confidence. They know what they want and thus are more inclined to take action to get it. Confidence comes from this approach. The energy accumulated from retention becomes confidence. It is this very awareness of our physical and mental improvements that gives us a newfound sense of confidence and invincibility in ourselves. The physical structure of our own being plays an intrinsic role in how we view ourselves and the world around us. On long-term retention, we experience a deep physiological transformation of our own organism. This not only encompasses the functional aspects of our body, but also a marked increase in aesthetics, attractiveness, and thus receptiveness from other people in social interactions. We are becoming a stronger concentration of pure energy, and as time passes, this concentration only increases. A well-developed, sound confidence is an inevitable result of these improvements taking place from within the body, emanating in an increase in overall energy, vitality, and health an increase in electrical output power from the heart. Chapter 5. The Gift of Aggression Often with an increase in vigor and vitality comes increased aggression. Many report on semen retention that they begin to feel more aggression and anger. This is to be expected as an increase in energy will move both ways. An increase in energy will reach all areas of the psyche large quantities of life force will be distributed to each faculty of your brain. Your motivational power will increase dramatically as your enhanced synaptic connections fire more rapidly and function more efficiently 
to carry out mental to physical conversions. There is a communication between your mind and body that will function more fluidly when they are both in their most optimized and nutritive states. The process of retention makes it easier for thoughts to be materialized physically. Any spark of inspiration will impel you to take physical action. This is why retainers are anything but lazy. The preservation of energy and increased nourishment of the organism makes it easier for one to convert thought energy into its physical equivalent. The body becomes more responsive to thought impulse and can swiftly carry out any intention originating from the mind. Aggression is a part of our masculinity and manhood. When it is controlled, it becomes a very powerful force. We can use aggression to work more aggressively, to be more productive, competitive, to get an edge over the competition. Unrestrained aggression is dangerous. It is like a wildfire burning out of control. Semen retention teaches us to control our sexual desire. However, it also allows us to control our anger and transform it into productive power. Channeling your aggression to productive work is controlling the fire. A controlled fire serves the controller. It will heat his house, keep his loved ones warm, light the lanterns to his village, and if necessary, threaten total annihilation against his enemies. A wildfire out of control is of no use. A wildfire indiscriminately destroys everything in its path. That is why the fire must be harnessed, controlled, and directed to be of any use. Chapter 6 The Road of the Hermit To the retainer, you are leaving this world that you knew for so long. The ropes of desire that bound you for so many years are now being cut away. Your vital essence is being restored. The essence that brought you to this realm that has been absent for so many years is now beginning to grow and flourish again from within you. This power will allow you to carry out your life's work. Day by day, as you retain, it builds. As you receive nourishment from conserved energies, subtle shifts begin to take place from within you. You may begin to see things differently, see people differently, and feel things you've never felt. You may grow apart from the people in your life and feel the pull to retreat to a place of solitude. For a time, you may even become the hermit. Many retainers feel the need to drift away from others for a while. This chapter focuses on the process of removing yourself from society for a time to focus on you. To work on your craft, to enjoy solitude, and to find out how you want to spend the rest of your time here. Taking time off from the world, although at times lonely, is liberating. You are not bound by the thoughts and opinions of others. It can be a very rewarding and productive period. Retainers have so much conserved energy that they can inject this energy into their passions without the distraction of other people and their opinions. This exponentially increases their rate of progress towards whatever it is they're pursuing. When around people, we tend to become influenced by their ideas and views of the world, by their views on us. There is a very negative aspect to mixing with the wrong crowd. It leaves something on us, like a stain on our soul. Time alone replenishes the source of our own thoughts and ideas. It washes away the viewpoints and biases of others and allows us to come to our own conclusions about things. Be solitary and content with your own company. Though you are alone, you shall not be lonely. Spend time with yourself and the answers you seek will come. The seeds of originality and genius reside inside of you, but you need to still the mind long enough until the waters settle and the ideas can spring forth. Solitude is the moment before creation. Coupled with the preservation of your life forces, your body and mental faculties strengthen immensely as you probe deeply the question of why you are here and begin to come to an ultimate realization of your life's purpose and an understanding of your own being. 
It is the catalyst that will inspire your most important actions on this earth. Allow yourself the time whilst retaining to really think about what it is you want or even more importantly, how you can serve. This is the ultimate process of the Hermit's journey. Chapter 7 Electrical Fields There is a vital source of energy permeating your very being. It powers the processes and functions of your organism. An electrical energy charge that courses through your veins, through every cell of your body, breathing life into you. A battery. It powers the nervous system to send electrical signals through the body and to the brain, allowing us to think and carry out physical movement and function. The strength of electrical charge is very much connected to your vitality and life force. Our body is much like a machine. What powers this machine is energy, life force energy. This is something hard to quantify with any numerical or scientific value. Biology and summer theory propose that this energy is used for two main purposes, cell DNA maintenance and reproduction. The reproductive action of sex and semen loss carries with it a very real energetic burden. The retainment of sexual energy frees up available resources for all other competing processes and functions occurring within the body. The more available bioenergy there is to utilize, the better the bodily systems can carry out those functions and processes, resulting in less oxidative stress and higher maintenance of cell integrity. This chapter goes into detail about the specific constituents of the semen that are known for their electrical conduction properties. We can see how the body operates off some form of electrical energy that is not yet fully understood but is evidenced to exist. We begin to see how the production and expulsion of the semen may have an effect on the supply of this life-giving energy. For this reason, it may be of great value to conserve it for other purposes. Chapter 8 Long-term retention is rare. There are not many men on this earth practicing semen retention, and out of the small few that are practicing, perhaps only a minority have kept their retention streak going on for years. A successful long-term retainer is very rare. It puts you in a very small group of people, and its full benefits are only enjoyed by those that can carry it out. I recommend you do what it takes to retain long-term, so that you can reap these benefits. If your emotions override your actions, you will not be able to retain long-term. Think of the last time you were retaining and decided to relapse and end your streak for the sake of a few seconds. This is where the battle is held. You couldn't handle the pressure and you gave in to your emotions. Emotions are dangerous. Respect their power and understand there is a constant war going on between your emotions and your rational mind. Every time you submit to your desires and do something that you feel you shouldn't do, you are changing the course of your destiny towards the path of degeneration. Every time you do what is right, even if you don't feel like it, your mind is winning. Strength is winning and moving you onto the path of a prosperous future, your intended destiny. Visualize these two entities fighting a holy war for control of your mind. Ultimately, you get to decide which side will win. Be aware that your mind wants what's best for you, but desire is willing to sacrifice everything for its own fulfillment, for its own self-gratification. Your mind is on your team. Sexual desire is an enemy. It is indeed helpful to see this desire as an external entity, a force that exists in this realm that can latch onto you and suck out your energy like a vampire, if you let it. This entity is very powerful and totally dominates the masses on this earth. To succeed on retention, you must not submit to this powerful force. By not letting sexual desire feed on you, you are ridding it from this world. Chapter 9 The Power of Social Interaction This chapter focuses on the energy exchange taking place when interacting with others. It is normal not to get along with some people. 
Some we will feel a visceral attraction towards upon meeting, and others we will feel an instant repulsion from. Others form much of the same impressions about us, and many of these impressions do stem from aspects of our outward appearance, tone of voice, height, face, and so on. Of course, our internal qualities also influence the way in which others perceive us. A big lesson in life is coming to terms with the fact that some people will simply not like us. Not all elements were made to mix well with each other. You will find that interacting with some people will amplify your energy, whilst interacting with others will deplete you and leave you feeling drained. Why does this occur? Different chemicals, when mixed together, elicit different reactions. For example, when you mix cola and water, there is no observable reaction, whereas when you mix cola and Mentos candy, the reaction is explosive. Your human body emits its own unique frequency of energy that is constantly expressing itself. We can become especially aware of our own energetic frequency when interacting with others as it serves as a reference point to ourself. When humans interact, their energies are also interacting and reacting to each other. Much like the playing of two musical notes simultaneously, that will result in either a harmonic pairing or in a clash of dissonance. Like musical notes, human energies too will resonate with certain energies and clash with others. If our energies are vibrating at a frequency similar or on the same scale as another, they harmonize and are felt by both entities positively as they form a synergistic bond. This is the feeling you get when you have a great interaction with someone who seems to be on the same wavelength as you. You can feel your interacting energies harmonizing with each other and feeding you positive vibrations. When you think of your interactions in this way, you may be able to have greater clarity regarding social interactions. When you find it difficult to get along with someone, it is perhaps not your fault or their fault, so much as it is a dissonance of your energies. Conceivably, there is nothing personal here. It is not water's fault that it cannot mix with oil, just as it is not oil's fault that it cannot mix with water. The substances are not structured to merge. There is no reason for you to take any such negative social interaction to heart. Chapter 10. Recovery from Semen Loss Is a full recovery of years of ejaculation possible? Can you return your organism back to its optimal state? Back to the state of an organism that has never released in the first place? Can we reverse years of semen loss? Perhaps the following proverb is appropriate here. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. Provided you are not on your deathbed, moments away from expiration, then recovery should be very possible. The rate and level of your recovery will depend on the natural constitution of your body and the level of action you're willing to take to cultivate healthy habits. The loss of your vitality is essentially what you are trying to remedy. Just as the depletion of your physical forces occurred gradually over many years, so will your recovery process take years to correct. The good news is you can start to notice smaller benefits almost immediately upon commencement of retention. This chapter goes into depth about the time frame and ways in which you can recover from depleted vitality from semen loss. The takeaway message in this chapter is that it is not too late to start retaining no matter where you're at. Of course, it would have been better to have never started masturbating, but we cannot take action from a point in the past, and thus lamenting over our previous habits is a useless effort. The best move available to you now is to take action and look forward. Chapter 11. Physical Beauty why are we attracted to beauty? It's a signal. A signal of optimal immunity and health. Then why are we attracted to good health? Survival. We survive with good health and immunity. 
we die from ill health and physical degeneration. Beauty and good health are the antithesis to death and physical degeneration. We gravitate towards anything close to the source of life, and beauty is a symbol of life. When our organism exists in an optimal growth state, it will develop in accordance with nature's design. Templates of design exist within nature, and many say that they indicate a designer. One such design is known as the Fibonacci sequence. There is much to these designs that we are yet to fully comprehend. However, when allowed to grow in accordance with nature, we seem to adhere to such templates of growth and we can instinctively sense this pattern of growth through the aesthetic of beauty. Beauty is a signal to us that nature is taking her course, uninterrupted and as intended. The ejaculation and subsequent loss of seminal fluids is a highly taxing process on the human organism. To the extent that repeated expenditure of semen will markedly decrease the lifespan of the organism. Semen contains highly nutritious fats, lipids, minerals, phosphorus and other essential minerals found throughout the body and in particular concentrated amounts within the brain and nervous tissues. Expending these elements on a regular basis leads to deficiency and degeneration. If we are to avoid degeneration and habits that destroy our beauty, then we must conserve our energies. Our sexual energies, if conserved, will preserve our beauty and youthfulness for longer. If expended uncontrollably, we will age faster and thus lose our beauty. Chapter 12 Deep Quotes this chapter features a number of insightful writings on the topic of semen and practice of retention. I will share one of them here. It is a medical and physiological fact that the best blood in the body goes to form the elements of reproduction in both the sexes. In a pure and orderly life, this matter is reabsorbed. It goes back into circulation ready to form the finest brain, nerve and muscular tissues. This vital fluid of man carried back and diffused through his system makes him manly, strong, brave and heroic. If wasted, it leaves him effeminate, weak and physically debilitated and prone to sexual irritation and disordered function, a wretched nervous system, epilepsy and various other diseases and death. The suspension of the use of the generative organs is attended with a notable increase of bodily and mental and spiritual vigour. Dr. Nichols We have now summarised 12 chapters from the book. The book contains a total of 36 chapters plus 18 supplementary chapters for the course that go into much greater depth and detail regarding the many topics to do with semen retention. If you wish to deepen your knowledge and understanding of this practice, then I recommend you get this book. The book is available from the link in the description. Thank you for watching.